Okay, hello again, everybody, and now we have Trace there, who's been sat in the wings, waiting to see if they would find him to no avail. So we're going to pick up the story from Trace's point of view, and I'm just going to explain for a moment what's happening before I pass over to Trace. As we all know, Trace had a moment with Lumi on the big slab and fled at a key point and headed towards the, the bog in the center of Tugton. Now, Lumi, hot on his tail, shouting out his name, made Trace want to hide from the embarrassment, if nothing else, maybe. And he chose to dive into some nearby foliage and to hide. At this point, he didn't know whether it was panic or what, but everything just started to swirl. He didn't quite know what was going on and closed his eyes thinking, oh, she's going to find me any moment and everything's going to be embarrassing. And then he felt a hot breeze on his face, something completely different about the heavy swamp atmosphere of Tugton has changed. Trace? Okay, so um, the, the first thing I'm going to do is obviously um, it was night in Tugton. Um, is it still dark here? Is it light? Uh, you know, just open my eyes. Okay. Um, you open your eyes. Although it is still night, it is very well lit by the moon. So much so that the glade of foliage and lush undergrowth that you're in is quite bathed in moonlight. And you can see around you, there is almost like a garden that somebody has been nurturing and tending. It's not wild and overgrown, but yet it's not pruned. It's just really nice and everything in balance around itself. Behind you, as you're looking about, the only large structure you can see would be a, a medium-sized tree that seems to be strange for some reason. You're looking at it and you're not sure what it is about it, but there's something not quite normal about that tree, and we'll come back to that in a moment. The thing that you also notice this is more alarming is once you go to about, say, 50 to 100 meters from where that tree is in all directions, all you can see is sand. So it's some kind of glade slash oasis that I'm stood in in the middle of a, a moonlit night. Correct. Okay. No structures, just a, the whole thing is like a well, a well tended, but uh, growing garden. Yes. Not yeah. a pruned and not like a, a Victorian garden where everything is perfect. It's like things are grown, but they're not overgrown. Correct. So if you could imagine um the, there used to be jobs obviously for people to go in to forests to tend them to make sure that they're kept healthy and the undergrowth is at a certain level and all the rest of that it's like that has been happening not so much to prune it but just to make sure that the garden is here has got enough space between all the plants where everything has kind of got room to breathe and be happy you can hear little bubblings of water etc there's a few little like mosquitoes and some buzzing things but very minor in the way of some little bees etc but no actual structures you can see of any human or otherwise so um so social structures of any kind all right um okay first things first i'm not by a bog being chased by somebody i've just completely embarrassed myself in front of so Correct. that is a good thing <laughs> second thing i'm not by a bog being chased by somebody i've just embarrassed myself in front of that's a bad thing okay uh i was expecting to hide for a while and then um possibly like 
come out once everybody had stopped looking for me or if they found me then i was going to say yeah okay i'm terribly sorry i didn't mean to scare anyone but this isn't kansas anymore toto um and i think i may have just screwed up really badly okay so um all right let's take let's take stock of where we are what's around me um is there uh just just a little walk around the garden first of all to find the find the limits what's your what's there is there fruit is there food is there water is there somewhere to sit can i just sit in the tree this is also a good idea um then we're gonna have a look around probably with some power perception or just a general search of the place to see if anybody else was here or if this is being tended by i don't know some kind of nature spirit is the hmm, yeah once i've done that the next thing i'm going to do is try and check to make sure the tree's not like an ant or something you know um just and it's the thing that's tending this oasis in the desert so oh. that's the plan so it's a wander around see what's there general perception see if there's anything kind of uh that could be used as a resting place or if there's any food and water and then a power perception have a look around the place and then a go and talk to the tree right talk to you well clearly your mind at this point is just a race of questions by yeah. the thing that you've just said your mind is going just like overdrive trying to sort of like assess the situation and as your head is quickly thinking oh, i right i try and try and like check the area uh think of power perception uh think of this check look at the air, uh, uh another voice comes into your head and the voice says my child why have you returned uh hi <laughs> uh i'm Traith. uh i'm a druid and an elf and i just had a really bad sexual encounter not not bad like that but kind of bad in the way that it didn't go the way i was hoping it was gonna go and kind of all happened a little bit fast and there were vines and there were flowers and it was very pretty but it wasn't kind of where i was expecting to be and then i ran and then i hid and now i'm here and who are you okay um this may be my fault uh it's nice that you have given yourself a new name. I like Traith. Traith is a nice name. But maybe I've done the best I could under the situation and maybe it was not of the best course. My child, um, you may want to sit down uh, okay <laughs> i uh, i pull up a chair and sit down <laughs> pull up a chair um no no chair appears however you do find yourself <laughs> somewhere quite, quite comfortable you think you can sit down um yeah the voice continues and says I, I i do believe sitting down is the the thing for your kind let me try and explain you have been here before and while the, while the voice is saying this to you amazingly you do actually you feel like you've been here before but there's something different about what you're seeing it's like almost this was in a dream of yours once but it was worse it was blackened it was destroyed it was like the same garden but in a after some kind of cataclysm as weird now it seems to have life okay the voice continues and says um there was a horrific incident in the past some mages decided that they wish to devour and use the magic of the world to bring power to one of their experiments I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do it. 
<laughs> it it does genuinely laugh. Um, and basically they all but killed me. And I'm so sorry. Is that that's why I was locked up? Yeah. No, my child. You are the reason I'm alive. Hey. You were a young wood elf druid. So keen and full of life and looking forward to the joys that life could bring you. There was so much in your future to be had. But you sacrificed it all to give your essence to me. No, 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 no. You, you can't be mistaken with somebody else. Clearly, that's why you thought my name was wrong. Um, I'm Traith. I'm a druid. I screwed up. Yeah. real bad and got put away for a long time in a prison and then magic stopped and I got released. Mm -hmm. And that's... As I said, I think this is my fault. I do apologize. I hope you accept my apology. You see, you died here many years ago. But I... At the moment of your death, I took your life essence, your very being, into myself, because at this point, you would almost become a symbiont with me, keeping me alive and me doing my best to keep you alive in return. And finally, you'd spend all of your long years doing everything you could to keep me alive. And in return, I held your life force for as long as I could until. I had regrown to the wonderful tree you see before you and gained enough power back to myself to reform you in the best shape that I could. Let, let me best explain. Give me a moment. The normal race, especially the race of, of man, they look at plants and trees and they think oh this is something to be harvested for lumber or building material or to be eaten and destroyed at will but all plant life is a living essence and a living force and when some trees and plant life grow old and wise enough as long as they have not gone mad through the eons they gain the ability to bond with prime elemental essences and bring life to things that you have called dryads and druze and other kinds of things that are living entities of a, a symbiosis between the plant life and the element okay S well i am some called me the world tree i have other names I have existed since the first trees. I am the oldest of trees. But You're I was almost destroyed. Mighty small. Fine for an old tree. I am looking mighty small for, compared to where I was. But I have enough strength to fight back some of the things that need to be fought in this world now and hold back the darkness where it needs to be held back. Thanks to you. The best I could offer you was a new form from my ability to reach into the elements themselves and create, I suppose, what could be classed as a dryad or a drew. But you are neither. You are, you are my child. I made your image in the image that you had of yourself in your, your mind. Maybe I made it incorrect i do not know i have not really known the ways of mortal person uh, i don't know how you function to reproduce i don't know how you do things i don't even know know really some of your mannerisms i did my best I, hey i look good don't worry about that <laughs> okay I, I look real good we're, we're all good with that okay you, you got that bit right but i still don't quite get 
Why? You gave everything for me. Your, not just your life essence, but when, when you bonded with me to keep me alive, you could see dreams of you'd never had a girlfriend, you'd never been to the city, you'd never seen the sea. There's so many things that you wanted to do, so many things you wanted to see, and you lost it all. But every day, you hoped somebody would come and rescue you. And they never, Great. ever did. And when they did, I germinated all over them and then fled in embarrassment. As I yep. said. Definitely pulling off this second life thing. Real good. Okay. As I said, um, I'm sorry. I don't really understand the ways of your kind. I think we may need to make a few little alterations, if that's a doable thing. Maybe, like, not growing vines everywhere when I get excited and bursting into pollinating flowers? I... You are not a wood elf. You are not that being. It is just a form, a shell that you are now inside that I have given you. However, I suppressed even the knowledge of what you were from you. You had no way of controlling your own being never mind anything else so I, I i guess in a moment of letting yourself go like that you lost control of the framework i placed around you to keep you in check maybe i should teach you who you really are so that you can control yourself better now that you know so I was a wood elf druid, and then I died, and I did a favor to you, the world tree, and you recreated me as a, not dryad, but dryad? Yes, I think that's kind of a good summary. Okay, right. So all the stuff I thought I knew is wrong. Mm, and what did you totally think you know? This totally isn't an embarrassment dream whilst I'm hiding near a bog and I've swallowed something hallucinogenic, yes? I think I will give you a gift so that when you return and find that gift with you, you will realise this is not a dream. Okay. Because I'm hanging out with a really creepy guy who hears voices in his sleep, and I don't want to be that guy. So, if you're the voice in my head... That's cool. I can handle that. But I just... I don't understand why I ended up back here when I thought I was hiding away from somebody I'd just embarrassed myself in front of. Uh, that it also surprises me. You... It, it, you have the ability to return, like most dryads do, to the tree that they are born. But you were very far away and you, I was, I never gave you that knowledge of how to do that. Somehow your panic unlocked something that you should not have been able to unlock. And yet again, this makes me think that I didn't do a good enough job. So once okay. more, I'm sorry. No, 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 the, the, seriously, there's no need for a tree to apologize to me. If anything, I'm sorry. You have nothing uh, to be sorry for. See? So we're into this cycle of both apologizing for nothing. <laughs> so we can both stop this uh, and we can move on. And the... Okay, so is this kind of stuff going to happen more or less now that I've started doing it? Uh, communicating with you in the medium we are is very slow and I cannot relay all the information I need on an empathic level by this. When we have finished this form of communication, I will once again want you to bond with me and enter me. And I will impart okay. with you the knowledge you need to understand how to control what you really are. Okay. So, um, just one quick little thing first, though. Do you mind if I had a look around the garden? 
Oh, because there's plants and herbs here that I don't think I've ever seen before that I've only just heard about or remembered. Yes, please do. This is my garden. It is a very well kept garden. It is the small piece of life I can bring to an otherwise permanently dead area of the world. Is it? And as Trace walks around, is it expanding? Are you able to to push, move it out a little further every day? Or oh no, no the 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 area around us, the area that is now dead, that goes on for many, many, many miles. That area was is is being made so for a reason. It can never ever sustain life, and it was done so by uh, by my mother to protect all life on this planet. Okay. The world seed? It gets confusing to try and explain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, I would, Ref, like to make a herb law check and see if there's anything here worth harvesting to take with me. Yes, you can make um, a, a herb law roll um, and you can do so, I would well, say, at Kind of is a, my key go-to thing. Yeah. Because of where you are and because almost you're going to get tuition as you're going around, whether you <laughs> realize it or, like not, it or not, um, I'll say, give me a roll at plus 50, but wow. try and try and tell me what kind of thing you're, you're interested in. There's <laughs> going to be a lot of things here you think it could be useful, including some rare exotic stuff to take back that could be quite interesting. Not just obvious run of the mill herbs, but some very strange ones. So. So the kind of run of the mill herbs, the 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 healing herbs, the the concussion hit healing herbs, the um, uh, the, the herbs for healing like nerve damage and burns and all those, you can find them most everywhere, can't you? you they're, can. they're about somewhere. Yeah. yeah, it's the the interesting ones that do funny things. I think will be more useful. The ones that you can't find everywhere, stuff that like I don't know. Um, the one that the one there's one that lets you oh, I've got some of that haven't I? There's one that lets you like cast a mental summons to a friend and stuff. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Yes, there's a few oddities here that allow you to do that like that range communication or some temporary stat boosts. Things that just are not the norm to yeah. find that you th think they're in the garden. Think yeah, that that kind yeah. of stuff. So not not the not the the bog standard healing thing because. No. With enough foraging, I'm sure I can find something that will help with those anywhere that we happen to go around in the, the lawless lands. Yeah, but, it, um, most yeah. of the heal the, the herbs you're talking about just speed up the healing of something that's already there. The things yes. that are probably the rarer ones are the things that regrow bone or yeah. muscle when there is no bone or muscle so it's like it regenerates <laughs> yeah yeah there's a few of that kind of healing in this area um yeah. but you're pushing the limit of the herbs that are around here but there yeah. are some of those so should yeah, all fans. no where you are now all right. okay. so wow. if worse yeah. comes to the worst and somebody loses a hand or a, you know a lower limb and you could get back to here, it may be possible to maybe one or two <laughs> regrow yeah. some pieces on somebody, but this garden is not going to sustain much of that kind of drain. Yeah. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, um, let's go for some of the, the temporary stat boosts and some of the, the, more interesting and out there herbs you know yeah i'll, I'll give you a little pouch of some weird and wonderful wacky stuff that you can have on your character for when wow. you return I'll 163 sort that 163 is that with the plus 50 the, that's with the plus 50, okay yeah. 163 and if it, if it comes to our fander stem which i have expertise in that would be 198 wow i know right <laughs> so what we're talking about really is some of the herbs or some of the plants you see here you know are exotic and strange and you th yeah. think you know how to prepare them 
the more exotic and strange they go, the more you're kind of like, mm, yeah. I think I know, but the, tr the world tree can't help you with this because you're basically saying, how would this plant be used to help uh, a being that you have no knowledge of? So yeah. the preparation of how uh, another organism could ingest something is beyond the tree's knowledge. Exactly. That's not what trees know. No. Trees know that leaf grows. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, I'll give you a bunch of stuff. Some right. of the stuff you think you'll be able to use, other stuff you might have to kind of, like, give me some guesses during gameplay as to how to prepare it. And I'll, yeah, It depends on how far off on the guess you are. Of, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a bag full of, hmm, herbs. Yes, do I give this person <laughs> one berry, ten berries, or do I make it into a drink? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, hmm. I found it somewhere where life shouldn't exist. Yeah. So yeah, eat up. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that for you. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, and then I will basically um, walk back over to the tree, I suppose. And um, uh, how do you want to do this? Do I hug you? Do I climb up into your branches? Do I sit amongst your roots? You feel like you don't need to ask that. You feel like you just want to reach out and touch. Okay. I, uh, I phone home. As you reach out and touch, uh, you feel like you can meld with the tree. Ooh. And Do you need no, there's no rolls. It's basically you were the dryad of this tree. You can okay. go home to your mother and hug I'm yourself my fist inside. At you for doing this to my backstory. <laughs> you enter the warmth of your birth tree. And yeah. the tree imparts knowledge to you to explain what you are, how to control yourself and your form. You are an elemental, basically, in the guise of a wood elf. Okay. Um, you can, now you understand, on a, a deeper level that you can ever possibly think a, a being could understand of itself, how you can master your own form in situations of stress so that okay. what happened with Lumi shouldn't happen again because you can become more in control of your own form. Okay. But you are an elemental. Sadly, there's no way for you to have children with said Lumi. You Isn't are she not... Like a nice, a nice elemental anyway. She, she's actually... Well... Without disclosing her background too much, uh, from what you understand of her race, they are yeah. just humans that have been tainted with a fey genome to a certain degree. Okay. So they're not true fey and they're not true elementals. They are some kind of merger. All right, okay. Um, you are a true elemental. Um, you cannot actually have offspring with mortals. It's not a thing you can do. However, you can basically extend yourself on an elemental level. And okay. what the world tree explains to you is fate, it seems, one way or another, is not going to let your life essence pass through this world in a normal <laughs> expanse <laughs> your rebirth is just cause fate to have another plan for you it's thrown uh, you into something else just as dangerous and you have yeah. become broiled up in something yeah i i got one of those lucky souls didn't i you you, know? you do yes but <laughs> yeah Fate, sadly, is, is going in for your soul, whether you like it or not. In for me! In for me! <laughs> They've all got it in for they me. They have got it all in for me. <laughs> right, so... Okay. One thing that you might wish is some other ways that you could fight. Because okay. the tree never made you in a form that was meant to fight. Which probably explains why all my physical stats are so pathetically low. But you look nice. I do look good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, the world tree is going to help you understand how you could manifest in 
plant life form almost. Not yourself, but you can control stuff around you to fight for you. Uh, oh, that's that is sneaky. That is. This is this is basically a <laughs> druid companion without actually having an animal, isn't it? It's not going to be an animal. Definitely uh... not. Um, as though most dryads and things would. You you often get situations whereby, say, wolves and other animals come to the aid of dryads. It's not yeah. usually because the dryad wants to sacrifice nearby animal life. It's usually that nature nearby comes to the aid. So there's a difference there. Uh, I don't think okay. a dryad would want to purposely put no no I said animal druid, life. Not dryad. No no I know I know. So <laughs> so you gotta think about that form. So. What you're going to do now is the world tree is going to let you loose in the garden. And when you leave the tree's form, you are completely wrapped around in some kind of like nice, fine um, vine work. Okay. That it could be some kind of elaborate belt or sash. It's up to you how you wish to wear it. Ooh, um, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it. The, um, the martial artists, the Chinese martial artists or Japanese martial artists, the weighted weight on the end of a rope. Right. Uh, where they, where they actually use it and they wrap it around themselves to get tension. Yeah. Yeah. A bit like that. Yeah. So, yeah. so cool. yeah, when you're not. When that weapon is not being swung around, yeah, it can be worn yeah. as it looked like, it's either like a um, stringer in the waist or a sash of string, or you could even incorporate it some other way in the way you're carrying it so that it looks just like an accessory. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. cool. I like that. That is you, awesome. You could even be part of some kind of headdress. So. Uh... It's a, yeah, it, Trace it, likes his long hair. That's fine. So, what the tree will try and get you to do is untie this vine work. Yeah. And the tree wants you to take root. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it, it's it's barefoot time or or not? Give me an intuition roll. Ooh, intuition! I'm actually fairly good on my intuition. Uh, it's like my highest stat. So straight intuition plus twenty five. Ah, absolute pants roll though. Twenty uh, forty six. Okay. Just um, on pure intuition check. Well, not an open ended. Because your intuition was to take your shoes off and go for a barefoot roll. That's what you do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, whether that's necessary or not, you have no idea. But you decide. To take your shoes off and yep. squiggle your toes into the ground as best you can. Yep. Yep. And take root. The the tree kind of almost laughs at you for a little while, but then slowly but surely you do feel as though your toes are digging into the the ground, the soft soil around you. You can feel the nourishment of the of the the earth and think, mmm, that's nice. And as you take root you slowly but surely feel less in control of your current form, but more okay. in control of this vine that you have. And through a series of lessons with the tree, the vine, you start from what would be maybe at best a very sad snake attempt or <laughs> <laughs> wiggling around a little bit. <laughs> You get it to bring out spikes and then mass into various balls and forms. At one okay. point, you, you kind of make maybe a bird, a very poor looking bird that doesn't fly. <laughs> it just kind of flops around the floor. And then slowly but surely, you, other nearby growth as well adds to your mass. Okay. And eventually, <laughs> after an unknown amount of time, in front of your self looking back at your body there is this mass of spiky vine work with a face of knotted vines 
making into the snout of some kind of wolf that's snarling in the same grimacing nice. face that you're now producing on your wood elf form uh, but your wood elf okay. form has kind of gone slightly bark skin plant like looking as yeah, you're yeah. looking back at yourself and you are this ball of spikes and teeth that's awesome sorry that just is so different to what i expected that's amazing okay um so i just need a moment to just, just like revel in the uh the the awesome possibilities of this <laughs> so trey basically T two moments trey. becomes becomes a becomes a a, a twig <laughs> stuck in the ground and i get a a a, a companion pet that <laughs> oh, okay so yeah so instead of getting actions as trait in combat i get to to actually participate as this combat companion creature can i it's something to practice isn't it i can i was just thinking can i have like the the, the vine like slither along alongside me whilst we're out for a walk or something we, you know do, 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 do. <laughs> we, we will come to that in a moment uh trace uh sadly we've lost your video feed while you're oh, saying no. it so that's fine uh what i'll do is i'll quickly pause and see if we can recapture your video feed and yeah. then we'll come back Okay. Hello. So, yeah, we've got uh, Trace video back. <laughs> so, you, we all missed your shocked face then for a moment, Trace. But, uh, yes, that is That's true. That's so cool. That's just full of awesome. Yeah. You have just, like, no idea. Yes, you have no idea, though, how it's going know. to affect you when that thing gets hit. <laughs> uh, with every uh, hand you give, you take away with the other. I certainly do. <laughs> Okay, so um, right, the next next problem then is to get back to everybody else. Has, has dawn started to rise yet, or are we still in this dark moonlit darkness? Because if it's still in moonlit darkness, that could be interesting because that means I'm probably not on Tamarid anymore. Uh, you're still uh, under the light of the moon. Okay. Um, say yeah. yeah it's probably early morning in the lawless lands but that means it's probably coming near the darkest point just before dawn so it's still yeah. dark in the lawless lands where you are now it's not quite that part of the night yet it's still okay. got a little way more to go so this is further in the direction of hours behind the lawless lands yeah you get me yeah 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 so i would have arrived here what could have been early evening here when the sun was the sun had just set and the dark was rising yes and now it's mid-morning as it were there's not that many hours that have passed while you've been here however i don't know i, know. I don't know it seems like it's been forever well the, the important thing is is what the hell have your friends been doing all this time <laughs> Lumi, you left her on a slab. I know, I'm in such shit. I'm in such shit. And then disappeared. You're not going to um, be popular. I'm not dead. <laughs> Hi guys, not dead. Um, P.S. Check out my new vine. Woo! Yeah, um, she might cut yeah. your vines off if you get one. In. <laughs> yeah, I think it's time to get back and apologize to everyone. And, um, well, the tree, the world tree, can only offer you two suggestions for that. One it's is a the, long walk. No, that's not even possible. No mortal should be able to walk through that land outside there. No well, life can be sustained. You've told me I'm not mortal, I'm an elemental. Anyway, <laughs> it's not something you should try. It's not something I want to go do. Li yes, life, even, even plant life, cannot exist out there. Let's not let's not go messing with that. Although You're... maybe if I could get some of that sand, that could be quite interesting. Uh, yes. mm, no. Do you let's want to take some of the sand? No, I'm not going to muck around with stuff like that. Okay. Because that's just that'll end up in the wrong hands of somebody, and it'll be used for bad things. So no. <laughs> okay. So probably amorous. Yeah, more than likely amorous. Um, the two methods back. Uh, the world tree could put you back at the tree where the world tree 
basically made you arrive in this world. Okay, and that's somewhere over near Bale Town, isn't it? In that it forest near is, Bale Town. Or if you yourself have enough knowledge and memory and focus of a specific tree, then you can attempt to use the world tree as your channeling power to get to that tree in particular the bad news if that goes wrong you could arrive anywhere. anywhere in the world really probably based on what your role is a proximity to the tree you're thinking of but the more knowledge you have of a specific tree the better <laughs> oh no this is the one and only time i'd probably pull it off and I'd end up back at the house to find out they've all buggered off to Bale Town or somewhere with the, with <laughs> the Bog Mog Brew. Uh, I lost my channel. 38. Okay. Yeah, go on. The, the worst that happens is I'm out for another session. Or two. They are really going to panic if they don't know where you are. Okay. Right then. So let's do this. Let's roll a channeling roll. <laughs> Open-ended. Okay. Let's see what you get. 131! Okay, channeling is not usually a skill that's rolled. In this case, it is. This is literally you trying to use <laughs> the power <laughs> that the will tree has given you. And the tree is the one that's casting the spell. Almost like a yeah, de yeah. deity giving uh, a priest the, the spell power and the spell yeah. to cast. The tree so that mean is casting the spell to you, basically. Through you if to pull back. So if the tree is casting the spell through me, yep. does that mean that if it wasn't such a great distance, yep. I could potentially do this through trees? Because if I'm a dryad of the world tree, yes. all life comes from the world tree. All trees are its children. Which means all trees are part of the world tree. Correct. <gasps> to answer Ooh. your question. I think I may have some, some, some skill gain and, and some work to do ahead. <laughs> yeah, to answer your question, a druid in this world, there yeah. are ley lines and there are druid groves. A druid can utilize druid groves and ley lines to do an awful lot of stuff, including teleportation. Um, okay. And one of the things a druid can also do is use the power of their grove in particular to use that essence that's stored as a pool of basically you know spell adders and powerpoint multipliers yeah. etc in a weird kind of way you being you're not a, <laughs> you are a druid yeah. but it's also based like your your ability to tap into the world itself as you improve as a druid then your yeah. ability not just to master ley lines and druid groves, but your ability to master nature itself and trees, etc., is going to increase. Ooh. Your attempt to jump from one tree to another tree, I would keep oh, you... very, very short distances if I was you at your level. But as you power up, it may be possible for you to go larger distances and potentially take people with you but not at your level. I just realized this is why you've had me making those rolls when I was casting Druid Staff, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, you... <laughs> There's a word for people like you. How can you cast a Druid Staff when you are a tree, basically? Well, not a tree, but you're an yeah. element. You are an element of wood. I want to summon a staff. Well, okay, summon a staff. <laughs> <laughs> Grow one from your leg. Yeah. Okay. Just... Okay, I could, I could, I could say words that are very inappropriate for a YouTube video right here. <laughs> I but okay. I'm not going I could just edit them. Bleep, 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 bleep. Okay, right. So I think that's long enough. We're going to now port you back on 131. Uh, what I was tree thinking of the were you tree. Of? I was thinking of the tree right adjacent to where the house is by the ruins, the corner of the ruins. That's I noticed you call. changed the map, so I couldn't look at the map. Uh, Very cunning of you there. Yeah. So, uh, do you want me to put the house on? Somewhere around there, isn't it? About there on the map. Right, let's put the house on. On the map.
Oh, you can't see the map. The players can. There we go. It's just loaded in. So you were thinking up this top corner? Sort of oh, well, either this corner or the one over on the other corner. Yeah, that's fine. All the yeah. stuff basically around your house and in the area of her, your house, even though, I mean, we're not role-playing the actual downtime of you being in your house, Yeah, there's clearly, t you're going to be walking around, you're going to be looking at stuff, you're going to, you know, be tending the gardens and the trees. So, yes. Well, hopefully I've got some seeds and stuff to plant in my little garden here now as well. They might not like the climate. Yeah, but I'm a druid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can grow cactuses in swamps, mate. I'll, I'll yeah, we'll, we'll come to that one, but good call, good call, yes. So then, yes, you teleport back to there. Uh, they are not there. Your friends are not there. But we will end your session there. Okay, well, thank you very much, awesome. Trace. Thank you very awesome. much, audience. I hope you enjoyed this little solo with Trace. And don't tell the others. Shh. <laughs> and thank you and goodbye. Bye bye. See like you all next subscribe. time. Like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye now.